The final topic in our discussion on the principles of inheritance will be polygenic inheritance. Now, in humans, there are many different types of traits. For example, the high trait or the skin color trait. These different types of traits are affected or controlled by many different pairs of alleles found on different loci. So polygenic inheritance is this phenomenon that basically describes this idea that multiple different allele pairs actually affect and control and have an additive effect on a given type of trait, for example, the high trait and the skin color trait. Now, to demonstrate what we mean by polygenic inheritance, let's begin by assuming that the skin color trait in humans is controlled by three gene pairs. So we have gene pair A, we have gene pair B, and we have gene pair C. Let's suppose that these three different gene pairs are unlinked genes, and what that means is they're located on different homologous chromosomes. So let's suppose we have homologous chromosome pair number one, homologous chromosome pair number two, and homologous chromosome pair number three. Now, in pair number one, we have the A trait. So this can either be A, uppercase A, or lowercase A, and this can also be either A, uppercase A, or lowercase A. Now, the second allele pair contains the B gene, and likewise, we can either have uppercase B or lowercase B on each one of these individual chromosomes. And finally, we have allele pair number three, homologous pair number three, that contains the final gene, gene three, or gene C, that also controls and affects and, have an ad and has an additive effect on the skin color trait in humans. So we can also have uppercase C or lowercase c. Now, what do we mean by an uppercase C and a lowercase c? Well, notice that A, B, and C are not complete dominance traits. In fact, they're incompletely dominant genes, and we'll see what that means in just a moment. If you're not sure what we mean by incomplete dominance, go back and watch my lecture on incomplete dominance and what it means for genes to be incompletely dominant. So the capital, uh, the capital letters represent incompletely dominant genes that express a dark color, while our lowercase letters represent incompletely dominant genes that express the light skin color. Now, since each gene, as we said earlier, has an additive effect, what that means is the more uppercase letters that we have in a given person, the darker the skin color of that person is. So since each gene has an additive effect on the skin color, the more capital letters we have, the darker the skin is and vice versa. The smaller the number of capital letters is, the lighter the skin color of that particular person. So for example, if in a given individual, all of these genes contain the uppercase letters. So these are uppercase A, these are uppercase B, and these are uppercase C. Then we have uppercase A, A, uppercase B, B, uppercase C, C, and this represents the darkest possible skin color. And likewise, if all of these are lowercase letters, so lowercase a, lowercase a, lowercase b, lowercase b, lowercase, lower, uh, lowercase c, lowercase c, then we have the lightest possible skin color. Now, to further demonstrate how this additive effect in polygenic inheritance actually works, let's carry out the following experiment. Let's suppose we have a male individual that contains this genotype. So we have these three pairs of homologous chromosomes, and on each one of these individual chromosomes, we only have uppercase letters. So we have uppercase A, uppercase A on this set of alleles. We have uppercase B, uppercase B on the second set of alleles, and uppercase C, uppercase C. And let's suppose we mate this male individual with the female that is homozygous recessive for all of these different genes. So we have upper, uh, lowercase a, lowercase a on the first set of chromosomes, lowercase b, lowercase b in the second set, and lowercase c, lowercase c. 
Now, if we made these two individuals, then what we see is the offspring that is produced, the F1 generation, will be uppercase A, lowercase A, and that's because one of these, uh, one of these, <clears throat> one of these chromosomes uppercase a will come from the male and the other one lowercase a will come from the female and so will produce uppercase a lowercase a the same thing happens here when meiosis takes place the sperm cell receives one of the uppercase b the x cell receives one of the lowercase b they combine to form uppercase b lowercase b and finally these combine to form uppercase c lowercase c and so exactly half of the letters are uppercase and what that means is since this is a very dark individual this is a very light individual because we have an intermediate case here this individual the offspring will have a skin color that is somewhere in between the dark skin color and the light skin color because here we have six uppercase letters, here we have zero uppercase letters, here we have one, two, three uppercase letters. So that means uh, three is somewhere in between six and zero, and so this will have an intermediate skin color. Now, let's suppose we take our individual, the F1 generation, and we made it with another individual that has the same exact genotype for the skin color genes. So what exactly will be uh, what what exactly will be the distribution of the genotypes of our offspring, the F2 generation? So what we basically have to do is this relatively long Punnett square. So essentially, we have eight different possibilities for the egg cell and eight different possibilities for the sperm cell. So each one of these basically describes its own unique sperm cell that contains its own unique genot uh, genotype. For example, this sperm cell contains all uppercase letters, uppercase A, uppercase B, uppercase C, and this one contains uppercase A, uppercase B, and lowercase C, and so forth. And these are individual unique cases. So just like in any Punnett square, we basically have to combine the egg cell with the sperm cell and we basically combine our genotype. So we have uppercase A, uppercase A, uppercase B, uppercase B, and uppercase C, uppercase C to form this zygote. So uppercase A, uppercase A, uppercase B, uppercase B, uppercase C, uppercase C. And we continue the process with all these different types of combinations. For example, let's suppose we look at this one. So for this particular zygote, we combine an X cell that contains all lowercase letters, a sperm cell that contains all uppercase letters, and we form three uppercase letters and three lowercase letters. So uppercase A, lowercase A, uppercase B, lowercase B, and uppercase C, lowercase C. And we do this with every single one of these squares. So once we carry out the process, let's actually count up the squares that have all six uppercase letters. And notice if we go through each and every one of these, only one of these zygotes, so one out of 64 possibilities, will contain this case. So this is the only zygote, the only square, that contains all uppercase six letters, and so we place a six. Now, by the way, there are a total of 64 cases because eight multiplied by eight gives us 64. Now, if we continue the process and count up all the zygotes, all the possibilities where five letters are uppercase letters, we're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six. So we see that six out of 64 possibilities will produce an offspring that has five uppercase letters. And we continue the process. Let's continue with three. So in, 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 in the case of three, we have, let's see, one, we have two, three, four, we have five, six, seven, we have eight, nine, 10, we have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So 20 out of 64 cases. So there is a likelihood 20 out of 64 that the offspring that is produced 
we'll have a genotype in which three of the letters are uppercase and three of the letters are lowercase. So that means we're going to have an intermediate skin color. And we continue the process with two uppercase letters. So we have one, we have two, we have three, four, five, we have six, we have seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 out of 64, we'll have only two uppercase. If we continue with one uppercase, we'll see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So six out of 64, we'll only have one uppercase letter. And finally, just like there's a one out of 64 possibility of having all uppercase letters, there's a one in 64 possibility of having no uppercase letters. And if we plot this, if we create a bar graph of this distribution, we get a normal distribution. So we basically get this normal distribution that looks like a bell curve. And so we have one out of 64 chance that six of them are uppercase and one out of 64 that none of them are uppercase. Six out of 64 gives us the likelihood that five will be uppercase and six out of 64 it gives likelihood that one will be, uh, that only one will be uppercase. And we continue and notice that this highest bar basically describes the greatest likelihood. It tells us that there is a greatest likelihood that the offspring produced from these two mating processes will give us an individual that contains three uppercase letters and three lowercase letters. So uh, it is most likely that the offspring that is produced between these two individuals that have the same exact skin color, that individual will also have that same skin color. So in this particular case, this is the F1 generation. The F2 generation is this entire distribution here. So from this distribution, we see that the F2 generation offspring will be most likely the same exact skin color as these two individuals as the parents. So this is what we mean by polygenic inheritance. So we see that polygenic uh, inheritance refers to the phenomenon by which multiple different allele pairs have a similar and a additive effect on the given trait. And by additive, we simply mean there is the, the genes are incompletely dominant with respect to one another. So the greater the number of uppercase letters is, the darker the skin is, and vice versa. If we have less uppercase letters, that means the lighter the skin color will be.